This is some compelling data suggesting that red meat can increase the risk of ischemic heart disease. This study included over 90,000 participants from the UK Biobank cohort. The researchers collected data on their diets, lifestyles, and health history and identified patterns of over 100 metabolites in their blood, which include things like lipids, inflammatory markers, and amino acids that were associated with either unprocessed red meat consumption or processed meat consumption. And these patterns were called metabolomic signatures. They found that the unprocessed red meat metabolomic signature, which can correspond to higher unprocessed red meat intake, was associated with an 11% higher risk of ischemic heart disease, while the processed meat signature was associated with a 16% higher risk. They also found that dietary intake, as was reported by the participants, was also associated with higher risk. And the effects appear to be cumulative. This suggests that the amount you've consumed over years or decades or the amount of those compounds in your blood that you've been exposed to over those periods of time are really important factors. And lastly, they conducted a Mendelian randomization experiment where they look at genetic predisposition to these various metabolomic signatures and how that can impact risk. A genetic predisposition to having a metabolomic signature similar to what you'd have when eating unprocessed red meat was associated with a 38% higher risk of ischemic heart disease, while the processed meat signature was associated with a 64% higher risk. So this is fairly strong evidence that both unprocessed and processed meat can increase risk.